There is a life I lead in this city. I'm back in my yoga and Pilates era. I did a flow class. I feel like that's exactly what I needed. My joints have been feeling super stiff. I haven't really been working out for the past couple weeks and I could just feel that my strength is not there. Like holding some of the poses was really difficult. So I feel like that was a good class to just ease back into it. finished up edits for the day i got this week technically last week for you guys um but i got the vlog posted this is a potential paint color for this room but the more i look at it the more i'm unsure about it but it's like a peachy beige pink anyways work is done for the day i'm gonna take tika for a walk i'm still sticking with my 10k steps a day challenge i hit it most days but yeah just trying to stay active I just got a pretty large package. Everything here is from Halara. This showed up at the perfect time because I need Pilates outfits. However, when I was picking out all these pieces, I didn't have Pilates in mind. So I can't even remember exactly what I picked out. If you are someone who plays tennis or golf, they have a ton of really cute active dresses and skirts. So definitely check them out for that. I was actually playing tennis the other day. This girl came up to me and she asked me about the dress I was wearing. I think I have a photo, I'll put it in. Um, this is also from Halara. She asked where I got it from and I told her and she's like, oh, I was actually looking at that one. She's like, maybe this is my sign to get it. I should have given her my discount code, but I totally forgot that I had one. I'm pretty sure it is Merc20 and you'll get 20% off. I'll also put links to all of the pieces down below so it's easy to find. This is in collaboration with Halara, so thank you guys so much for partnering on this. I already have a bunch of pieces from them and the quality is really good for the price point. And they have a ton of different options. Okay, I'm gonna start opening these while I talk, but I have been getting color theory videos all over my TikTok for you page and I cannot figure out what season or like what category I fall into. I also feel like my colors completely change when I have a tan and when I change my hair color. The only thing I know for sure is that I'm definitely not a winter. Halara has a ton of fun colors, so a lot of these pieces are really colorful. I'm super hit or miss with red. I do find that reds with more of a bluey undertone generally look better on me versus like an orangey red. I'm gonna try all of these on, so I'll put the try on clips on the screen. First up we have this top, it has a cute little cutout on the back. And I also got a skirt in the same colorway. Technically it's a skirt because it does have the built-in shorts. I'm pretty sure like almost all of their dresses and skirts have shorts underneath because they are um, active wear. I'm not sure about this color on me, what do we think? This orange. I feel like once I have my summer tan, really bright colors look good. But anyways, I thought this was a really fun color. These shorts have a little bit of the scrunch butt going on. I got a top to match this one as well. However, I already tried this one on and I will say, I wouldn't recommend this for someone who has over a B cup. This was not really fitting my chest area. However, I, you could maybe layer a sports bra underneath. I don't know, but I just thought the style of this was really cute. I love the style and the color of this top. It has a square neckline and then it ties up at the back and I thought that was really pretty. I didn't get a matching one for that. However, I did pick up these shorts in a different shade of green and I feel like they would be complimentary. And these are just a nice like standard pair of shorts. They don't have like the scrunch going on. I don't know, what do we think? I feel like these colors look cute together. I already tried on this dress and I am obsessed. It fits so well and you can't really tell that it's like, this is like the same material as leggings. You can't really tell. It also has the built-in shorts underneath. It is just so cute. Like I feel like this would be such a good everyday dress. Um, this one also comes in a few different color options. I also picked out this sports bra, just a nice basic top that can be paired with so many different things. I wanted to get a versatile top because I did pick out a couple other bottoms that don't have um, like a matching color for the top. I got this pair of shorts, they're high-waisted and I feel like these would be really good for running because they do have like the looser fit on the bottom but it does have the tighter short underneath and there's also a pocket on the back where you can put stuff in. So definitely a good running short. And I feel like that would be a cute set. I also picked out a pair of leggings. 
in this really pretty color and these leggings also have pockets on the side so convenient when you're like out for a walk or something I feel like they would have pretty good compression I just picked out one pair of leggings because we are going into like hotter weather now so I thought like shorts and skirts would be better option I did a 4 p.m. Pilates class today, which is not the normal time that I work out, but it was kind of nice to be honest because I got all my work done, worked out, went to the grocery store, and now I'm gonna shower, make dinner, and continue my evening. I didn't pick up a whole lot at the grocery store today. I think I'm gonna do salmon for dinner. I'm thawing some right now, which is still frozen. Okay, I might have to make this tomorrow. I have leftover salad, but I don't know if it's gonna be too soggy. This salad was actually really good. It's chickpeas, quinoa, avocado. I'm probably gonna pick at that. I mainly wanted to get L-glutamine. I'm gonna be making a little concoction in the morning and I wanna put this in it. That is also why I got lemons. And then I recently ran out of my favorite teas and my go-tos are always spearmint and dandelion. Leaf and root tea. So I've restocked on those. I also got this five mushroom chocolate. I was looking for ceremonial grade cacao and I don't know where to source it. This has heirloom cacao. I'm not really sure what heirloom cacao means, but I feel like they would put good cacao in this, but I'm gonna look it up. Anyways, it was on sale, so I got that. I took a quick break from getting these cookies, but we're back on it. I also got one of these Amy's burritos which I don't know if I've ever tried these before, but I just like having some quicker meal options. That is all I got today. It says it's 33 degrees. It's I just went to HomeSense and I got a bunch of new bedding. Okay, I need to open windows. It's like a sauna. I got this sheet set. I only really want the pillowcases, but I guess I could do the fitted sheet as well. I might return this. I'm not obsessed, but I want it something floral. I just pulled these pillowcases out of my storage locker. I have a couple sheet sets already and I like to mix and match them, but I thought that this color, I also have a throw blanket that's similar to this, a little bit darker, but it kind of matches like the florals or at least like complements it. It's actually pretty close. I got this pillow as well. This says a little decor pillow. And then I have two, Holy fuck, there's like fluff going everywhere. I have two big white pillows on my bed, but the pillowcases are all falling apart. I'm replacing them with these ones. I really wanted to get some ruffle edge pillows and it has a bit of like a floral design on here. I don't know if I'm gonna keep all of these. We're just gonna see what it looks like and mix and match with what I have at home. This is everything that's on my bed right now. I also have this waffle blanket in this color. I think I'm gonna move this one to the living room and then bring in that one. I feel like these are really complimentary. And then these pillows, as you can see, it's like exploding. And originally I wanted to just get pillowcases for these, but I couldn't find any that I liked. Let's see what we can do here. I also have this off-white bedding and I think I might replace the comforter. I don't know if I like the off-white with it though. I think these pillows are too big because they just hide everything behind it. I'm wondering if I should get two of these because they did have more of these. No, I don't think I like that either. I got this laundry detergent. I saw it on TikTok, of course. It's from the brand Tyler and it's the Glamorous Diva scent. This was super hyped up. It wasn't as good as I thought. It's also super expensive, which is why I got this like tiny little one. And I just add like one to two caps of this into unscented detergent. And I pretty much only use it for throw blankets, but it does kind of have a scent, like a lasting scent. So I put that in with this load. It's 5 p.m. now and I feel like I got hit by a bus. I'm so tired. I'm gonna do salmon for dinner and I have mango as well. So I'm gonna do mango salsa salmon, which is so good in the summer. I guess it's not technically summer, but you know what I mean. I went to Whole Foods the other day and these mangoes were four for $5. Such a good deal though. And these are so good. I love mango. It's definitely one of my favorite fruits. Mm -hmm.
make rice and I can't be bothered to do it now, but this looks delish. Someone else wants it. It's the next day. I ended up returning those white pillows because they were just way too big. And then I got a second of the purple throw pillow. <sighs> this is what it's looking like. I don't know. I might return everything. I swapped the waffle blankets. I have the purple one back on here. And I like it because it just like adds texture. Someone's calling me. Anyways, I like that. It just like adds some texture. I don't know. I don't have the fitted sheet on, but this would be the fitted sheet. So that would be like this print down there. I feel like there's too much purple going on now. I'm just about to go into Pilates. I'm doing the 4 p.m. class again. Oh my God. Look how I look right now. <sighs> my hair. I'm drenched in sweat, but I'm gonna go get food. I got some sort of turkey wrap. I can't remember what it was called. There was no one in there. I always feel bad for businesses that are just dead. I also got a raspberry soda. It's sparkling water and then you can pick a fruit juice and I picked raspberry. I thought this was gonna be sweet and it's not, which is kind of nice. It's just very fresh. The fruit flavor is really mild. This wrap kind of tastes like freshy. If you guys have had freshy, it's not my absolute favorite, but it's okay. I'm having my coffee and then I'm heading out to a workout class and I'm actually doing a strength-based challenging workout today and these classes are hard on a good day so I'm scared because we're still struggling over here. I have never experienced stiffness and soreness like what I'm experiencing now. I don't know if it's related to the iron deficiency or not. I'm assuming it has some connection. Pilates yesterday was hard and it's more so like the stretches and i'm still experiencing knee pain doing like squats and stuff and i know there's probably gonna be a lot of squats today i stopped going to the gym for about two weeks because of this and that did not help so i'm just trying to push through and see if that helps instead i don't know like the rest wasn't working and i don't want it to stop me from working out and i like i'm assuming it's not from working out because it persisted through like two weeks of rest so anyways that's a little update on that um we'll see how it goes I'm not allowed to film in there, so I literally never get any workout footage in these vlogs, but I almost passed out like three times in that class, but I'm still glad I did it. It's a few days later. It's Monday now. It's a long weekend, so today's a holiday, and I'm at my sister's. I've been here for the weekend because Steven had a going away party on Saturday, and my sister's in Palm Springs, so I'm just staying at her apartment and watching her cat and stuff. I think I'm gonna go home today, but I wanna do a bunch of stuff downtown during the day before I leave. I might stop by Value Village. They have like a boutique version of Value Village here, which I don't know what's different about it. I guess it's somewhat curated, but I bought a couple things the other day from a different location and I'm not sold on them. So I think I wanna do an exchange if I see anything. And then I also wanna do a Whole Foods shop. I ended up doing an exchange. I brought back two things and I got two new things. I feel like thrifting is so weird. It's like your perception on it, if something's cute or not. It's, I don't know, it's hard to know. Sometimes I'll pull something and I have a vision and then I try putting it in an outfit and it's just like not cute. That might be what happens with these pieces, but I got this top, I just love the color. I have no idea what it's gonna look like on, which is the problem. I feel like this has potential, we'll see. This one was $9, which I feel like is an okay price for Value Village. I saw Shein stuff there for like 15 bucks. That is ridiculous. I will never understand Value Village pricing. And then I got this little skirt. It's pretty see-through. I feel like this is like a slip, but I feel like maybe like layered with something this could be cute or if you wear something long and then just like the bottoms coming out i don't know this might go back but those are the two new pieces whole foods is going to be my last stop so i'm trying to think if i want to do anything before hmm. what do we do here oh i keep breaking my nails i need to get my nails done actually maybe i do that the nail salon is busy Hi, do you guys have time for a shellac manicure today? We will be available at one. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, your phone number, please. Okay, see you at one. Thank you. Okay, bye. Perfect.